Let us do error estimate. Okay. Now I will go a bit slowly. So remember my function is f of x and I am approximating by t and x. Okay. I will not know the function. Okay. But well, I mean there are endpoints, but there is some function f of x which goes to endpoints. So error will be e in of x. N is the number of points, huh? please remember, n is the number of points. Now this, I did not prove it, but I stated the result from Lagrange interpolation, this is error. So this function, nth derivative of the function at some point zeta, lying between a and b by n factorial product x minus x i, x minus x i. Fine. So you just multiply x minus a, all the points, this product. So this I stated it, I did not prove it, but okay, I mean, this is a very useful result, you should keep in, uh, you should know, remember this one. Now, error in the integral will be integral of e x. that is the error, no? I've, okay, so if I just integrate this, I'll get the total error for the integral. So en error is just a to b, this one, or integrate this function. But f n zeta is a constant, n factor is a constant, that comes out, I get this, this one. Right? Is that clear? I mean, just straightforward. Now, I need to evaluate this. But by the way, this function is quite easy to integrate uh, for any any number of points. So, if n is e1, so, so um, well, if n is e1, then we can, okay, I'm going to come, come to by, come to that bit later. Let's look at odd n. Okay, odd n is a tricky thing. Or then, what happens to this integral? So let's take three points. Okay, so I think I have this. Uh, okay, no, so I, I'm, let's. So or then, this one gives you. In fact, this this integral gives you zero, which is incorrect. Huh? I mean, this is this is not correct. Uh, with with or then, I cannot expect every function to be. Uh, I mean, the this Newton course to give exact result for arbitrary function. That's not true. Like sine x. If I choose odd, odd number of points, I cannot get exact result with Newton points. Okay. So I'm going to show what is the problem. I mean, there is an error with which I'm going to show you in a minute. But for even n, you can prove it right away that for even n, fx, uh, the error is zero when fx is n minus one order polynomial or lower, huh? n minus one or lower. I, I, I didn't write that explicitly, but how do I prove it? In fact, it's staring at you. I mean, just in front of you. So if it's n is one n minus one is order polynomial, then what happens to f n zeta for this polynomial? Can someone give me the answer? Sir, zero. Zero. Because uh, for n minus n minus one is order, like take n is for example three, or let's take n equal to two. Okay. So n equal to two means my uh, polynomial is linear. Is x. Now, if I do the two derivatives of x is 0, right? First derivative is 1 and second derivative is 0. So, uh, for n minus 1 thought polynomial, this is 0. So, that means en is 0. Okay. So, that is the proof of the statement. In fact, coming from here, that if I n points and your function is n minus 1 thought polynomial, then your integral is exact. Okay. This part is proven. Everybody is happy, but of course, I mean, I didn't prove this one, but let's take that as a, as a known result. Now, with odd n, this tells me that any function will give exact result, which is not correct, right? Um, if I have integral 0 to uh, pi by 2 sine x dx, if I take three points, I am not going to get exact value. Okay, so where is the fallacy? So, so let's try to see. So I have odd number of points. So, or, sorry, odd n, odd n, odd n, uh, odd number of points. So I'll take n equal to three as an example. So this one will become 
Um, so right now you know that. So um, so three points. So I go from zero to one. Okay, zero to one. So my interval is zero to one. So my so three points will be zero, x minus zero, x minus half, x minus one. Right. So the equidistant points. Now this integral is basically is zero. Again, you can prove it, but uh, uh, is basically the function is odd around half. This function, this whole thing is odd around half. So odd function is integral is zero. Okay. Now, so but there is a problem. For three points, I cannot get exact results for all functions. So you have to go one order higher, or you have to do something more, one order higher. So to do that, I take another point, three half. So what I'm going to do is, um, I will take zero, half, one, and three half. And I let a polynomial go through these four points. Higher order polynomial, fourth order polynomial, go through, uh, go through this, uh, no, sorry, cubic order polynomial, go through these three points. Okay. And uh, uh, and show that e4 is not zero. Okay, if I do the integral between this regime for for a function going through this, then I will not get zero. So that's the idea. So we want to make this another point three half and compute the integral. But integral is not zero to one. No? I mean integral is not zero to three half. Zero to one, but I'm just approximating the function by the next order. So three is, gives you zero. So I think well, I mean I can approximate function by more points. And uh, uh, if I take four points, then that's a leading order. No, that's in Taylor series that will be a leading order uh, thing. Um, so so this is not equal to zero. Okay, it's an even function in X. It is not zero. And uh, overall the number is one by two eight eight zero. And this will be by the formula by uh, in this is f4 zeta. Okay, so odd number of points with n equal to three. By so this, please remember it, with n equal to three, e3 will be still zero for for what value of what kind of polynomial f? For if f is cubic order polynomial, I mean if f has highest power s cube, then this will become zero. Right, 10 equal to 3. So this is still 0 if f is highest order is uh, order s cube. Okay, that's the statement I had made. With three points, I can get exact integral for polynomials x cube plus x squared plus x plus 1 with coefficients uh, in between. Okay, so I hope everybody is agree, uh, happy with that. So for odd points, you have to refine your proof. Uh, and then uh, we can get the statement. So, in fact, this table is also very uh, interesting. So, with m equal to 1, that means with two points, the error is h cube by 12. f2 zeta. Okay. Uh, so, this is second derivative. Hmm? With m equal to 2 or 3 points, I get f4 zeta, which I, I just had it. Um, by the way, H for the proof I gave you before, H is half one. H is not one. In the earlier, this the function 2880 or some weird looking thing coming because H is half and you plug it in, you'll get the value. F4 zeta. And with M equal to three or four points, we still get H4 four, four, this one. So it's four points and three points. The error is H5. You should look at this. Error is H5. Okay, so if I have, so which should, which one should I use? Which one has more work? We have uh, n equal to uh, which you have two points. Uh, uh, sorry, three points and four points. We have uh, three points or four points with that. So is both of them have order accuracy of the? I mean the error is same order. H is what matters. Huh? And, I mean H is let's say ten power minus three. So this becomes already ten power minus fifteen. So don't worry about 3 by 80 or 1 by 90. That's not very critical. Okay. So H5 is same for both this. So you choose odd number, um, odd number of points. Okay, that's uh, bottom line from, from this table. Okay. 
now we can do in uh, okay now my time is running short so uh, how many ends do i need for computing this integral exact uh, if i want uh, linear then i need two points x squared three points x cube i can manage with three points or four points okay both will give exact and x5 i need n equal to 5 okay so this just follows from from this table and the theorem which i showed you now i can compute uh, this integral sin x 0 to pi by 2 okay now we can do it for different ends the integral is always in this integral always has has error now for different ends number of points we can i have plotted here with two points there is significant error Okay, I mean the points are 0 and 5 by 2, you expect uh, to be uh, pretty erroneous. With three points, error has dropped. With four points, error is all I mean, kind of flattening. Is, is four, four is better, but not too much. Then five, there's a big again drop. So for every odd number of points, there'll be a gain in uh, accuracy. But six, error is roughly the same order as five. Okay, uh, with seven again there will be a drop, and eight will be like that. Okay, so it just follows from this. Now, if you have function which is quite long, I mean, let's say I want to compute sine square x plus cos cube x, like this, from zero to zero to uh, ten. Now, I cannot choose, I mean, uh, triple that rule, we can't do it, right? I mean, with two points, with too far away, function is oscillating. Well, it, yeah, okay. So, it's, it, you can't use triple that rule or even Simpson rule. The interval is too big. So, the idea is that we can do piecewise integration or multi interval uh, Newton codes. So, multi interval Newton codes, I just illustrate with this example. So I'm just going to choose uh, this is an example. Huh? So trapezoid with two points, two points, two points, two points like that. So I'm making a lot of intervals, and each interval I'm applying uh, one method. You can use Simpson or even uh, more accurate ones. But for Simpson, I need to use three points, like three, 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 like that, with one common, huh? one common, one common, common. Here. This point is common for left and right. This point is common for this and this. This point is common for this and this, like that. Now, you can easily, uh, this formula is very straightforward to state, uh, to write. So, the first one, what represent will give you what? F naught h by 2 plus F1. F1. Second one will be h by 2, F1 plus F2, like that. Da, 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 go on like that. Now, when I sum it up, this f1 is common. So that becomes twice. So this factor 2 is here. So all the points in between will be twice. End points will not, will get only factor 1. So end point, this is factor 1 and this factor 1. Okay. So this is straightforward to derive. So we can use that and uh, for long interval, that's what we, we should do. Okay. So uh, with n equal to 2 to 9. Okay, now my the curve, trapezoid rule, you can see that there's red dots, you know, going like that. And uh, uh, there is h cube. Is with, uh, so in fact, with more points, I'm coming down like that. Huh? More points, I'm coming down like that. Okay, so um, the error is decreasing with more points. So it drops the h cube. Why is the h cube? Because with trapezoid rule, the error is h cube. I mean, I, I had in my previous slide uh, is h cube f f two zeta. Okay, so here I I'm just summing up. Of course, the error is getting added up, but uh, each piece is giving error h cube. Okay, so the slope will be h cube. If you use Simpson, then it will be better. It will be h five with Simpson. Okay, so this one, I mean, uh, right now I know the value of the function. No? So function is, uh, well, the examples I give you are, are all simple examples like sine x, uh, x, x to the power n. But 
often we don't know the function and that's where the numerical schemes become handy uh, we cannot apply analytical tools we have um, just the data okay so we can have um, uh, like area integral over surface and the very rough terrain and i want to compute the area uh, to cover the terrain you know so so here the idea would be to compute the integral for h and then h by 2 and subtract okay now if h is pretty large then you expect that i h by 2 will be more refined compared to ih and the error will be, I mean the difference will be quite a lot. Okay, so this is called tolerance. So um, for large h, this tall I mean, this epsilon, this the difference will be quite quite large, and this equality in this inequality will not be valid. But when h becomes pretty tiny, pretty small. Then we expect IH and IH by 2 to be roughly the same order. And the difference will be within a tolerance. And that's where you can stop. You can say, well, uh, at this point, I'm going to take this IH by 2 is my final answer. Okay? So that's the idea. So we can do this interval for a given H, then H by 2, then H by 4, and keep going down. And at some point, you say, well, my difference in the error is falling within the tolerance. And I stop now. Okay, so that's the trick which is used uh, for when you really don't know what the function is. Okay, so this is uh, end uh, for this uh, uh, Newton course.